Hi, I'm Auri Katarina, the best cleaner in the world. Welcome to the video where I share my five professional cleaning secrets. I have been studying cleaning and been in the cleaning industry for over 10 years. Now I will reveal my secrets. Okay, let's save this sour head. Ooh, look at that lime scale. I really love that. You need vinegar and bowl. Soak the shower head in vinegar and let it sit there at least an hour. You can see it's already working because there are some bubbles. Nice. Okay, one hour later we are ready to scrub. Take a steel daddy. It's really important to have a hard tool like steel daddy, so this will work. Scrub it and enjoy the cleanness. Easily. <laughs> bye bye, lime scale. Hardened toothpaste, one of my favorite stains. I always use a steel daddy because it removes hardened stains effectively. Like this. Most toothbrush chargers can last up 30 minutes submerged in water, so there is no harm in rinsing it under running water. And it's clean! Do you have dishes which have these black marks? Now I'm gonna show you how to remove those. You will need power paste and a microfiber cloth. I have dipped this damp microfiber cloth in power paste. Then I just wipe the bowl with it. It's really safe to use power paste for your dishes. Of course I would rinse this bowl after the cleaning, but the paste doesn't have any toxic chemicals in it. Wipe, 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 and then it's clean. How to clean a stove like professional. Most people wouldn't even know what to do or how to get these stains out. I will tell you. First, spray some oven cleaner. Any oven cleaner should work, but make sure it's a foaming one. Then place plastic wrap on top of it. This will prevent the oven cleaner from drying. Oven cleaner will stay moist, so it will melt all the stains off. Depending on how dirty your stove is, let it sit there at least 6 hours. After an hour it may look good, but it should have melted all the way. Pro tip, do this at night and clean it the next morning, because when you wake up, it's all melted and you don't have to scrub that much. Wipe it clean with microfiber cloth. Finish it with some stove polisher and voila! This trick will save your stove's life. If you have burnt stains on your induction stove, this is a mini tutorial for you. First I apply this soap and then baking soda. Then I just scrub it. Baking soda is a powder so it rubs the dirt off effectively, but doesn't scratch the surface. Still, we have really badly burnt stains left. But that's okay. They are really easy to remove. Just use a scraper. 
A scraper is a tool that has a small handle and a metal plate and can be used for scraping a particular surface clean. Many people are afraid to use a scraper because it can scratch the surface. But trust me and try it first in a small area. Then you will notice that it's really safe to use. And voila! Our induction stove is clean. Woohoo! White leather couch. Nope. That's not a bad thing. It's super easy to clean. If you have kids or pets, they will easily mess up the couch. There can be all kinds of marks, but that's okay. Let me show you how you can easily clean your dirty sofa. I just need a scrap daddy, spray bottle, power paste and microfiber cloth. Just dip a damp scrub daddy to power paste and scrub. Then wipe it clean. Look how easy. Power paste is a chemical free cleaning plus polishing compound. Natural grit makes it effective in removing stubborn residue. To use, generate a foam by swirling a damped scrub daddy into the paste. It's easier to use power paste if you first spray water and dish soap. It makes the surface slippery, so the scrubber glides on it nicely. Scrub, scrub, scrub! And then wipe it clean. Remember to fold the cloth between wiping. Coffee oil stains. Not anymore. Repeat if necessary. Then it's time to put a pillows and blankets back. <laughs> It's so cute. I try to be really careful. If you want to see more cleaning content, subscribe my channel. So see you next time. Bye bye.